This video is a little tribute to all of the venues of the major international skating uni events in the 23-24 figure skating season. Not many other sports offer such an eclectic mix of places to see world-class talent, from dedicated ice rink arenas to multi-purpose event halls, all of varying sizes and grandness. Sadly, not all of these are rated equal. Diving straight into number 27, the Credit Union of Texas Event Center, Allen, home of this year's US Grand Prix. If you want to watch one of the most important skating events of the calendar in the middle of a Texas shopping mall, Kilometres away from any trace of documented civilization, this is the place to go, I guess. This one ranks bottom because the abandoned rail line with the Dart light rail terminating a bit south of it is right there. But tragically, no. I'm sure that statistically the Japanese skaters will do worse here than elsewhere for that reason alone. 26. The Four Dice Centre in Nashville, home of this year's international adult competition. This one beats Texas just because its surroundings are slightly saner, and at least the rail line right next to it isn't completely abandoned. But I still wonder how many people get excited over the idea of travelling from afar to visit Nashville, home of country music and probably some other stuff, only to discover that they're performing in some car park 16 kilometres away from the city. 25. Kangnung Ice Arena in Kangnung, South Korea for the Winter Youth Olympics. This is one of those places that was built for an Olympic Games, which of course means that it sticks out of its environment and isn't particularly close to a ton of amenities other than other Olympic stadia. Gangneung isn't a big city, so its location thankfully isn't too inconvenient. The train station for your KTX link is right here. But I just cannot give the arena itself high marks, which is a shame. 24. Ice Lab Bergamo Palagiaccio in Bergamo, Italy for the Lombardi Trophy. Bergamo, a city with great street life, beautiful architecture and some ice rink tucked away in the back of some random industrial estate alley. No further comment needed. 23. Barry's Arena, a dedicated hockey arena in Astana, Kazakhstan, home of the Dennis Ten Memorial. It's a gigantic hockey stadium in a place that is certainly still growing. This is ranked low just because this style of city is so alien to me, and I may certainly warm up to it after spending a weekend there, so I file this in the I'm ignorant tier. 22. The humbly named Figure Skating Sports School in Yerevan, Armenia, a Junior Grand Prix location. Very similar to Barry's Arena, but more isolated as kind of the backyard extension to a football stadium. Ranked slightly higher because Yerevan's metro isn't crazily far and it would be fun to make that trip. 21. Sportplex Pierrefonds in Montreal, Canada for the Autumn Classic. As seen earlier, suburban rinks in North America usually have terrible locations. This one doesn't. It's reasonably sized, not in a shopping centre or a parking lot, which is a huge plus. Getting there is a bit of an issue, being a bit far from the RER. But eh, I'd make it work. 20. Kanku Ice Arena, Izumi Sano, Japan, a Junior Grand Prix location. A rink sandwiched between water and a highway turn, surrounded by what I'd describe as an airport development. Big hotels, shopping centres, light industry. All the stuff you don't go to Japan for. Thankfully saved by the presence of a rail stop, letting you easily travel into Osaka. Thanks Nankai and JR West. 19. COS Torvar Ice Skating Rink, Poland, for the Warsaw Cup. I wish I could rank this higher, as it's a nice, small arena that sits cosy in its surroundings. But in Warsaw, one of the best cities in the world for transportation variety, it sits in a bit of a transit desert, which makes me sad. Also, there's a better Polish ice rink later on in this list. 18. The Doug Mitchell Thunderbird Sports Centre in Vancouver, Canada, location of the Canadian Grand Prix. This is located right on a university campus to give it a completely different vibe from everything else on this list. And while it is located a bit away from Vancouver downtown, it is still Vancouver so getting around won't be crazy difficult. Maybe this would be a top 10 if the Skytrain ever reaches here. 17. Chongqing Huaxi Culture and Sports Centre 
home of the Chinese Grand Prix, the first of the China venues, it automatically ranks high thanks to being connected to 50 million metro lines. In this case, this weird double termini. This is the weakest of the Chinese arenas due to its distance from the city, its lack of an immediate fabric due to modern stadiums' insistence on being within segregated stadium districts. Decent nonetheless. 16. Linz at Eisensport Halle, Linzer Austria, Junior Grand Prix. Probably the most average rink on this list in my opinion. Good surroundings, could be close to the sea and the tram. 15. Croatia's golden spin of Zagreb is not actually in Zagreb, but at the Ladena's Varana Zibel in Sisak. Thankfully, that means you get to visit a rink sat unassumingly among homes in just a regular riverside small town called Sisak. As you can probably tell here, I'm a big fan of arenas that are convenient and unpretentious. This is maybe the best off the beaten track arena on the list. 14. Shanghai Oriental Sports Center, Shanghai, China, setting of the four continents. Two metro lines in a dense stadium district. Not sure if it needs much more of a description than that. 13. The Silivri Kapi Ice Rink in Istanbul, Turkey, yeah. For the Junior Grand Prix. This one gets stock points for, like the Warsaw example above, being a bit of an isolated part of the city, but wins a lot of points for having the most unique surroundings of anything on this list. Love this wall. 12. Ice Palace Budapest in Hungary, location of both the Junior Grand Prix and the Budapest Trophy. Snuggled in a nice residential area with your essentials nearby, and if that's not your thing, the tram is right across the road. Perfect. 11. Halle Olivia Gdansk, Poland for the Junior Grand Prix. Basically the same as Budapest Ice Palace, but with a bigger forest, less homes and a choice of both a tram or SKM's commuter rail. Thank you Poland for being the last holdout against flirtification. As a bonus, before we reach the top 10, I feel like I'd quickly review the three arenas that aren't on this year's calendar, but while I have personally visited. These are Ice Sheffield in Sheffield, England. An ice rink in a sprawly commercial area would typically rank low, but this place has a dedicated tram stop and your local ice rink in a statistical likelihood doesn't, so it's at least mid-tier. I would put it a bit higher than that actually, just due to the novelty of holding a Grand Prix in such a small venue. I had a fantastic time here. If you want to watch me act as Jimmy Marr's Hand of God, aka Spotlight Operator, the gala is on YouTube. I will be back in 2026. The South of France Arena, Montpellier, France. A good arena in a less than ideal place, saved by having a tram connection in likely the most underrated city in France. Would highly recommend this place if Nice and Marseille is too mainstream for you. What's not so good about this civic part of the trambo is that in spite of being in a road medium with clearly enough space for a double track, it's single. Pro tip, if you're heading back into the city, take the southbound tram instead one stop, then head back north, you will guarantee yourself a seat that way. The Torino Palavela, Italy, wonderful historic venue. Torino is a fantastic small city, which means that it's close to a petrol stop for transport and a carrefour for sustenance. No complaints here, top tier. 10. The Toa Raktab Dome in Kadoma, a staple of the Japan Grand Prix. I think on paper, this would be mid-tier. It's a bit of a trek from Osaka in an industrial flavor residential area, which doesn't usually conduct itself well to a massive stadium in the middle of it. However, this place's secret weapon is that it's the termini of the Nagahori Sumi Ryokuchi line, which giving this place a huge accessibility boost. I certainly think of the Toa Dome as a great example of how a suburban stadium doesn't need to be a pain to access. 9. The Centre Bell, Montreal, deservedly the home of this year's World Championships. Sorry Sportsplex, but while you are in Montreal, you're not on top of a rail station or in downtown. I think if there's one stadium on this list I'd love to go to, but plausibly probably can't, it's this one. 8. The Capital Indoor Stadium in Beijing, China, location of the Grand Prix Final. 
This is a historic venue, which in China is a very good thing, as it's well situated for many local amenities. It's next to the zoo, a high-speed rail termini, and of course, metro. This isn't an urban planning video, but I do notice that China does really like wide roads in cities. This road next to the stadium is actually wider than the Texas ones from earlier. So are more familiar with China, please explain. But overall, if I were to go to one PRC event, it would be at this place. Very cool. 7. The Zalgiro Arena in Kaunas, Lithuania for the European Championship. A stadium sat alone on a river island? It's better than you think. Connected by pedestrian bridge straight into the city's city centre, which you can arrive at via the most civilised travel option ever invented, the trolleybus. Instantly earning this place a premium. 6. Imperial World Samron Bangkok, Thailand, a junior Grand Prix stop. This rink is in a shopping centre? No matter, because this is my biggest hidden gem on my list. Right on the metro, a second line coming in the future, and too many amenities to count. Love it. 5. Arena of Andre Nepela in Bratislava, Slovakia, for the Nepela Memorial. A small arena that sits comfortably in the cityscape? Great. Served by directly by Trolleybus? Instant top 5 placement. 4. The Espo Metro Arena in Espo, Finland, home of both the Finnish Grand Prix and the Finlandia Trophy. This is probably the best suburban arena on the list. Nice surroundings, modestly sized, and, as all suburban arenas should be, it's located right on the Helsinki Metro with... <clears throat> Uhail Pyosto Station right there. I really hope to go there sometime, it's just good stuff. 3. The Sportstatten Oberstdorf in Oberstdorf, Germany for the Nebelhorn Trophy. It's an Alps town reachable via train, with streetscapes that look like this. If you hate metros and the poor people who ride them, this would be your number one. The fact that there isn't a metro here, however, means that it's only my number three. Number 2. For the French Grand Prix, it's Angers Ice Park in Angers, France. It pains me that I'm not able to go to the French Grand Prix this year, because this place looks fantastic. Great location, close to the city, but with good cityscape in its immediate surroundings too. And a tram stop right outside for easy travels. This is what every venue in a small city should look like. Number 1. It's the World Junior Championships, the Taipei Arena in Taiwan. A stadium that sits comfortably in the corner of a block, next to two dedicated bus lanes, featuring a metro station right on property, with yet another metro line just one block away? The arena is even owned by the city's rapid transit company as a mega transit oriented development? Oh baby. I think this is about as good as urban venues and arenas will ever get. Good job Taipei. If you do have any thoughts on these rinks or have a place from years past that you think deserves an odd, please do mention down below. Thanks for watching.